In case you were wondering how many subscribers it takes to hit your first interesting comment on YouTube, it's about 250. Just in case anyone else has the same question or complete misconception, I'm not underage. I am a fully grown woman. I'm an adult woman and this is my adult apartment where I hang my adult made paintings. Not like adult paintings, but like where I hang my paintings that were made by me, a full adult. Where am I going with this? I just have some stuff built up and my walls are getting pretty full and I want to share. So watch if you're interested. If you're looking for a child, this is not the place. If you're curious about what kind of art I make, what my paintings look like on the wall, maybe scale or something. This is my art channel, so. This is a channel about my art. This is my channel. I'm sorry. Okay, the first stop is my little office area here. And as you can see, I have wood glacier painting here and then one above it. The ceilings are a little high here. What a curse. Actually, it is like a little random, but it's nice. And I have my second glacier painting up there. These are both from a trip I took like two years ago with a bunch of friends. Very fun, but we went off season and it was a little bit dreary and cold, but we still did a lot of things and had a good time. So I think that was around when my painting phase kicked back in and I was like, let me just make a million pictures of glacier because it was so beautiful there. Great time, great memories, great people. I didn't paint any of them, but I, in fact, I edited them out of this one. <laughs> Originally there were people, my friends were in the foreground and I was like, not gonna, not gonna put that in there. So I'm sorry. <laughs> as much as I appreciate them, they're not invited to this party. People are just hard to paint, which is why I felt like I was building up to it maybe. Landscapes are much more forgiving. We're just, you know, so wired for facial recognition that if it, if a, a portrait of a person is just a little off, you can really tell, but no one's gonna discreetly measure like the proportions of that mountain and be like, that's not what you promised. But yeah, here it is. I can look at them every day while I'm typing away on my computer. This is a weird camera angle. <laughs> get my little double chin in there. Um. Yeah, while I'm tip tapping right there, I can like look up and remember that I used to go outdoors sometimes. And it was fun. It was fun. And I like need to move my legs so I don't lose the ability to go outside. It's actually a real, a real thing I'm struggling with. This is like my shrine. I'm like burning a candle too. <laughs> my little shrine of glacier. I also have a bedroom and this is my largest piece that I've ever painted, I think. It's another glacier painting. Oh, that's a lie. This is, this is the Pacific Northwest. On our way to like Mount Hood, there was just like a foggy area on the side of the road. And what I love about the area there, like the colors there is that the trees looked so blue green at that time. I think it was a little bit overcast as well, but like very cool toned green trees. And then with the fog coming in, it was just so moody that it inspired me to paint this piece. And yeah, it's the biggest one I've ever made. Um, so I guess what I should say is landscapes encouraged my rebirth of my interest in painting, but yeah, it's probably a combination of the Pacific Northwest and Glacier. Two very fun trips. We spent a month out there um, hanging out. Also, I'm sorry the lighting is pretty poor in here. I should close my closet. Okay. These are just two little baby pieces that I really wanted to show. These two guys, I also did in Glacier. A friend and I took some gummies and <laughs> we... We just let our creativity flow. And actually, I feel like it's the same concept with like having kids do artwork and then hanging that up. Like sometimes it can be really cute, just like a little colorful thing. Um, and it's like nice how the, your personal backstory, maybe you 
get your like nephew or your your own child to do a little piece and then hang it up but I don't know there's just something so fun and innocent about it almost because we don't have a headboard I've kind of used those as a visual marker of you know here's the sleep zone <laughs> we should probably get a headboard but I want a bigger bed because the cat the cat takes up half of it you would be surprised she's only like nine pounds but she just basically heats her way into the bed like she's a little furnace and she just burns her way through but yeah cute huh i mean i think they're cute those are the two walls of the bedroom that are adorned so okay moving on another room another beautiful camera angle we have here my little hallway of artworks this was my surrealism phase that lasted one painting i went apple picking at some point in this like one year time span i went up to new york and i just thought it was so beautiful the colors of the sky with the green of the trees and the little apples sitting in there all red it was just it was just pretty a lot of my stuff is inspired just by color i just love colors i really do i i have a passion for colors can you tell by my face some colors make you feel so like warm and cozy some just like punch you in the face yeah some of the joys of life you know okay and then this is this is also from the pacific northwest so there's three main paintings from that series that i have hanging up this is a little baby guy and then the next one's in the living room but this is a this is just one wall because this guy is pretty big i don't know if you can oh how do i do this like the size of my torso i'm five four i have a long torso this is not helpful i should probably just tell you inches I have different signatures during this phase. I was just getting back into painting. I have a variety of different signatures going on. Like I just did my initials here. And then another one, I have some like blocky print of my, of my name. It's just very, it's trying to go a little bit more modern, you know, I was like new, new phase, new me. Cause when I was little and I would draw, I would always sign with my Chinese name. Cause I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I was tired of looking at my English one. I haven't signed anything in my Chinese name in a long time. I did do a stamp once that was just my last name and I thought that was so cool, but I think I decluttered it, which is kind of good for me because, you know, when was I going to use that? But also I probably could have used it for my paintings. That would have been really cool. Yeah, kind of a shame. I got rid of some stuff I kind of regret, honestly. Yeah, but I also have more of a I have a kind of a tendency to be a hoarder I'm not a hoarder but I do like to collect things sometimes I get sentimental about objects it's always something I'm battling a bit anyways let's move on to the other wall there's just two here it goes like this tiny room and then this wall over here this is okay this is not even a room this is a hallway just have some old paintings here just playing around with oils and acrylics I was just trying to keep art still incorporated in my life and what's faster than a like four inch painting you know what's faster than that what is tell me tell me now and then this is a tiny print of when i was trying out digital art it was a place called moonbird coffee we used to go there a lot and it was cute I tried to hang my art there but they were like yeah we don't own this space lady we're just renting here so do you want a coffee and i was like yes please no but they're very sweet they would like strike up chats with the neighbors not the neighbors their customers and be like hey susan it's good to see you again i was always like maybe one day i'll be comfortable enough it's kind of like that feeling of talking to your professor i was always kind of scared to do it um <laughs> But you know, I'm an I'm a fully grown adult now, so I, I, I can approach anyone. Anyways, this is a painting, a digital. Ah, oh, yeah, I can't like look. Okay, this is something a friend did. Amon, if you're watching, which I don't even know if he has knows I have a YouTube channel. I actually don't really tell people because I'm incredibly embarrassed. But here it is. <laughs> 
this is. This is his painting, his digital artwork, and we love it. And we keep it in the middle so we can glance at it every time we go past. He does a lot of this. He does more like more edgy stuff than I do, more abstract. It's just more cool. It's more like, it's a different vibe, but we love it. Coming into this room, this is, this is my third piece. My third Portland painting inspired by the area. This is near Haystack Rock anyone recognizes. It was probably my first painting in this series. This is really what inspired it all. <laughs> and then, yeah, we like, we went to Portland, or the Pacific Northwest area. And then from there, not from there, but like after that we went to Glacier. So maybe I should have started with it, but this was number one. And then over here we have some paintings I made on, I did not make them. My brother made this one, I made this one, and then Brandon made this one. My mom took hers with her. Not quite sure why, but she just seemed like she wanted to do that. So I was like, okay. It was a fun memory. And I think that's, that's some of what art is about, you know? You just want, I mean, anything in your home, you just kind of want to hang things that mean something to you. So then you look at them and then eventually a year later, you're desensitized and feel nothing towards them and you take them down. Um, that's not true. I, I feel something towards these. They make me happy. My brother doesn't even like painting. I think he was having a bad time. <laughs> Maybe not a bad time, but he was just like not into it, but I appreciate it and I really like it. It looks like a human heart. It's cute. I like it a lot. I'll probably, I'll keep it up. If anything, I'd probably take mine down. It was supposed to be landscape. Like this is even the wrong direction. And I don't like it as much. I, I have a million other paintings. You'll know by the end of this video. This is the corner for which I have assumed control for my art. I have a lot of stuff here. Most of it has been filmed. The process has been filmed. My grandfather here, I made back in 2019 when he passed away. He's the only one who hasn't really had a process vlogged about him but he was a very amazing man. I feel like I don't know most of my family very well because of, you know, living in America and they're mostly in Taiwan or other parts of America. But my American cousins I do see more often, which is cool. And I got this really big easel, which is really cool. And I'm really excited about it because I can paint standing up. I've only painted one painting on here, which is my bedroom painting which I did try to hang up, but it didn't stay. It doesn't want to be hung. But I want to hang it up on my big wall that I'm slowly collecting pieces on. It's like here or something, but I need to figure out a better way to hang this because I'm just, my solution is not working. It's just little sticky squares in the back, which maybe the solution is just to use more of them. No, but really, I did want to frame them. I'm trying to look for secondhand frames to use for my paintings and like just general prints that I have laying around. But I have yet to find ones that suit my needs. So we're probably just going to have to keep looking for a while. I have a little stack of paintings here too that aren't hung. A seashell, a bunch of these little little guys from my Midnight Library one video. Anyways, here it is. This is my this is my corner, Lauren's corner. And then for a while, I was really into painting tiny clothes. You may have seen some on the wall in the hallway, but tiny little outfits. That that was my thing. That was my thing for a long time. Maybe for a few months, I guess, just a long time. But I wasn't painting much at the time. So any little painting I could get done, I was pretty happy with. And I thought they turned out really cute. This one was from, it was a trip to Santa Fe. I wanted to paint a lot of the stuff there. Like I just brought my paints and it's like kind of an art trip. And this is from, this is from the, I painted the Airbnb there because um, I thought it was cute. But yeah, I think this general area is typically the area I show with a lot of my 
painting process is because I mean it's where I paint. <laughs> my corner also i am pretty messy but you know just gonna say that these amazon packages are not ours we're just holding them for our neighbors somehow i feel like though that that's not the reason the room looks messy <laughs> oh and i forgot to mention my friend al did this oh the glare did this portrait of me i don't like pay myself that much it's just like that much minus one this is al I decided to put it up because I didn't want it like just rotting in a folder somewhere. <laughs> I think it's nice. So I'm not trying to show everything because I don't feel like cleaning. <laughs> but here it is. This was it. This was my apartment and those were the more recent paintings that I've put up so far. Is this good content? I don't know, but I'm out here doing it. I'm just out here having fun. I'm just a grown woman trying to figure out life. Some days I do feel underaged. I guess that's just the experience of life. I guess you have this expectation of what you'll feel like when you are older. But I get the vibe that people just don't always feel that way. It's more that your body starts to show signs of decay. <laughs> And you just more and more rapidly as the years go by, start seeing your body and your loved ones dying in front of you. Okay, that's, you know, that's a great way to end the video. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you just like do what you love because life is the meaning you make it, which is what I was told was the outcome of everywhere, everything, everything, everywhere, all at once, which great movie but I have a lot of trouble remembering movies a lot of the time, but I just remember loving it. <sighs> and I think a lot of other people do too. So validate me. Filming the ending of videos kind of feels like when you first start doing phone calls, maybe that's just a people pleaser thing. I like felt bad hanging up. I'd be like, you hang up first. And then you kind of get hurt either way. If you end hang up, First, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm only a horrible person. But then you get hung up on and you're like, oh, they probably hate me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Whether or not I'm real, I guess, will be up to you to trust. It could be, it could be AI generated. I'm a fully adult woman. Um, <laughs> I'm a fully... <laughs> hey. We made them on my 29th birthday because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to paint with with my family and my man. <laughs> He's over there eyeing me. <laughs> I hate texting. Well, like you know you hang up first, I you hang up first.